Hi everyone, my name is James Foley. This is my new book, Secret Agent Mole. Uh, book one, Goldfish Finger. It's a new graphic novel series that I've written and illustrated with Scholastic. And today I'm gonna to show you how to draw Max Mole, our main character. So, let's have a little read about Max Mole, shall we? His granny loves him, earthworms fear him, villains find him kind of annoying. His equipment of choice, his explosive suction cup dart gun, AKA Mr. Boom Boom. You can see it on the front cover here. His classy dirt repellent suit in white. Special skills and qualifications. He is an expert marksman, expert tunneler, master of disguise, snappy dresser, expert bad joke teller, holds the world record for eating the most earthworms in one hour. And his weaknesses, he does not plan ahead, tells bad jokes, and is easily distracted by earthworms. So this is Max. Now, to start off with, um, you need your lead pencil, and you need to start by drawing the basic sort of shapes. That's how I always like, build up my characters. I figure out the shapes first, and I build up across the top. First thing you need is a circle for Max, okay? So a circle, doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You just need a circle to start with and we'll build up from there. Okay, so we've got the circle. This is gonna be Max's head. Now let's put a rectangle in the middle of this circle. Sorry, a square actually. Just checking to see if you're listening. We're gonna put a square in the center and it's gonna be slightly on an angle too. Uh, okay, so we've got a square inside the circle. We've got another one about the same size next to it, but that one overlaps the edge of the circle. You got that? If I'm ever going too fast as well, you can always just pause me, rewind, check what I was saying. We have to add his snout on next. His tiny little snout, and it's in line with the bottom of these glasses. So we just go out a little bit, and then we bring the line down here to join the bottom of the circle. Okay, pupil, pupil. A little line to join up the glasses, and then the arm of the glasses here. He doesn't have any ears. So I have no idea how these join on, um, but you know, he's a cartoon character. Eyebrow. This eyebrow floats off the top of his head. And we are going to put his body on next, okay? We're not gonna put every single detail in with the pencil, just the guidelines. Then we're gonna go over the top with a felt tip pen or a texture or a black colored pencil, if you've got one, okay? Okay, we're gonna put like a, a pear shaped body on here, okay? So about, about that big. See that okay? Yep, awesome. I'm gonna rule a guideline here for where the bottom of his coat will be. And we're gonna put a V shape in here for where the edge of the top of his um, coat will be, for where the lapels will go. And his, his uh, bow tie is made up of two triangles facing each other in the middle there. Actually, I might even just move them down a tad. Can always rub stuff out. Doesn't matter. Okay, we need his legs. So we're gonna put uh, one leg sticking over here, one leg sticking over here. Okay. His um, feet, his shoes are basically just like tiny little semicircles. I didn't put a lot of detail into them because I didn't wanna have to draw detailed shoes um, throughout the series over and over again. We're gonna put a Curly sausage coming down this side for one of his arms. And we're gonna do another curly sausage over, actually I might draw his hand first in space. Sometimes it's easier to draw the hand where you want it to go. And then you can draw the arm to join onto it. Sometimes it's just easier that way. And then we're gonna draw his suction cup dart gun. All we need to draw here is just a rectangle on top of his hand for now. And uh, a semicircle here for where the suction cup will go. Awesome, everyone. We've got all the details that we need. Time to grab something a bit more permanent. Be brave. This is gonna be fun. So I'm using a little Sharpie, but you can use um, a black texture or a black colored pencil or a felt tip marker if you got one. I'm gonna start with the glasses. I'm not gonna draw them as hard edged squares. I'm gonna draw them as rounded squares because it just softens the um, the glasses a little bit. It doesn't make them look quite so sharp. And then I'm gonna draw the little joiner and the little arm there. I'm also gonna put a little line in here and here for the edges of his glasses. Okay, eyebrows. 
This one just floats in space. And we can do the top of his head and come around and go all the way around. We're going to go out to his snout, his nose, and then down and around. He's got a nose there, three dots, and a mouth. Cool. That's his head. You notice that I didn't go on this line here. That that circle line there was just part of the guidelines for me to show the shape of the face, yeah? We're gonna do his bow tie now. So it's two triangles next to each other. And we know the lapel edge is here. But doing that, the shape of the lapel is a little tricky. So sometimes it's easier to turn this around and to think about it as like a very um, narrow letter M. Okay, does that make sense? Awesome, we'll turn it back around. We're gonna put a little flower on the other lapel. One, two, three, four, five petals. And then we can join up the lapels behind that. A line going down from the middle of that lapel and then across and around and two buttons. And we'll do his other arm and his hand on this other side before we get to this gun and everything else. Let's go from the shoulder, let's go down here, and we're gonna do a line that comes across to show where his sleeve ends, yeah? He's got a button on the end of the sleeve. Um, there is his little um, shirt sleeve showing as well. And we're gonna put a hand in a pocket down here. So we're gonna have a thumb, and then we're gonna have a straight line. So his hand is going into a pocket. Now we can rule this line, draw this line across here too. Let's pop these pants on. So we're gonna have these pants coming out this way to show that the hands are going into a pocket. Uh, we can put that little semicircle shoe on. We could even put a little crease there where he's got his hand going into a pocket. And then we could have this leg over here and we could have his other shoe over this side. Okay, let's do this tricky part. We're gonna put the gun uh, details on, okay? So there's a little sight at this end, a little little bump that sticks up, and we go across, and there's a little bump at the other end as well. And we'll just put that kind of like a rectangle with two little bumps at the top of either end. There are two lines here, and there's a little long oval on the middle. And then we've got two little tiny lines, and then we've got this semicircle here. And then we kind of put a little line at the end of it. There's the suction cup. Okay, the hand. When we're drawing anything, grabbing a hand, uh, a hand grabbing anything, sorry, we've got the fingers on one side and we've got the thumb on the other. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna have three fingers, because Max only has three fingers, and one thumb. So we'll do the fingers first. We've got one that's on the trigger, and then we've got two that are on the handle. And on the other side, we've got a thumb. And then we've got the bottom of the gun in there. Does that make sense? The only way to sort of really practice hands um, and to get good at them is just to draw them over and over and over again. And they're gonna look wonky a lot of the time and you just gotta keep going because that's the only way you learn how to draw anything. You gotta give it a go. Okay, I'm just gonna draw his like shirt sleeve there and then we can put his coat um, there as well. And there's a button there. All right, that's Max. Let's put a little bit of ground here. Let's sign our names. And um, we can erase some of the parts that we don't need. These little guidelines that we had before. And we can add a quick bit of color too. I'll show you what colors we use. We are going to need a red and a light blue and a dark blue. Okay, the red is for the flower and for the suction cup on the end of the dark gun. Oh, we're also gonna need a black. The black is to shade in the gun. So it's just, it's, it's a dark gray. So you don't have to go fully dark with the black. You can just shade it in to make it a really dark color. 
Okay, now light blue is for his snout. I'm gonna rule just a little curvy line here, just so I know where this light blue finishes. It's also on his finger, his other fingers. And then the dark blue is for the other parts of his face. So the dark blue would join there, and then we can shade it in. I know that moles aren't blue in real life, but um, you know they're like they're they're a black or a dark grey colour. But it's just not very interesting to put that on the cover of a book, especially when you've also got a hippo character who really should just be a grey, greyish brownish colour. Um, so I gave them uh, coloured fur, coloured skin because it's just more interesting to colour it in. And then of course Bug is, is green. Because if she was just a boring dark black beetle then all of our characters would have these monotonous desaturated colours and it wouldn't be very interesting. So that's how we draw Max Mole, the main character from my new series, Secret Agent Mole. It's a graphic novel series out now. Book one is called Goldfish Finger. Book two is out in August, September. Book three is out in March 2024. And it's available where all good books are sold and some bad books, uh, wherever you get your books from. Thanks, everyone. If you want to share your drawings on socials, then you can tag me in at James Foley Books. Um, you can tag in Scholastic Australia as well, and you can put in the hashtag secret agent mole, all one word. Thanks everyone, happy drawing.